Ordering a custom axle housing from Mosier Engineering is as easy as downloading the order form, taking some measurements, and answering a few questions. Done correctly, it ensures you'll get exactly what you need, but it requires a bit of attention to detail. We'll take you through the process of filling out the Mosier order form step by step. This document will record all the critical dimensions for your axle housing build. Before you begin, you'll need a few simple items. Once you have your equipment, you're ready to get started. The first piece of information you'll need for the order sheet is the type of axle housing you're ordering. Is it a Ford 9-inch, GM 12-bolt, Dana 60? If you're having trouble identifying your axle housing type, the experts at Mosier are available via telephone at 260-726-6689 during business hours. Once you've identified your housing type, it's time to do the same thing for the housing ends. The order form shows the most commonly used ends, and you may be tempted to simply compare the illustrations to your existing ends. This is a bad idea. Year-to-year -year manufacturing variations, an axle housing with aftermarket ends, or a host of other factors can cause misidentification. To positively identify your housing ends, measure the spacing between the bolt holes both vertically and side to side, and compare your measurements to the ones shown on the order form. If the housing you are measuring is disassembled, you can also measure the inner diameter of the bearing seat for extra confirmation. With the housing and ends identified, it's time to measure the housing itself. Depending on whether you are measuring a housing with axles installed or a bare housing, you will need to take a few different measurements. For an assembled axle, measure the outside axle flange to axle flange distance. Note that this dimension does not include the thickness of brake rotors or drums. Measure only from the outer side of the axle flange. This is dimension D on the order form. Next, measure the outer edges of the housing ends side to side. Again, measure only the housing itself and don't include the thickness of any attached hardware. This is dimension E on the order form. Now it's time to record pinion offset by measuring from the housing ends to the pinion center line. If your housing has the cover or third member removed, using a pinion centering tool located by the housing center section bolts will give the most precise measurement for these dimensions. Measure pinion offset by measuring from the center of the pinion to the outer edge of the housing end on the driver's side. This is dimension F on the order form. Repeat for the passenger side and record this as dimension G. Pinion offset can also be measured on an assembled axle by measuring from the housing end on each side to the center of the pinion nut. Remember, these measurements are for determining pinion offset only and are not the same as axle length. For cars with a racing four-link suspension, measure the distance between the brackets center to center. This is dimension L on the order form. Mosier can build your housing with mounting points for many different suspension designs, including ladder bar and leaf spring applications. Consult our customer service experts for personal instructions on how to measure properly to ensure a perfect fit. With the order form complete, you're now ready to request a custom Mosier engineering axle housing built to your precise specifications. For more information, call the experts at Mosier at 260-726-6689 or visit MosierEngineering.com.